Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Wednesday, October 4th, 2023. And today is National Taco Day. That sounds good to me. I'm looking forward to that. So make sure sometime today you go out and get yourself one of those treats we call a taco. It's not even Taco Tuesday either. But anyway, our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter number 3, and it's verses 12 through 14. Scripture says, Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of disbelief, of unbelief, I'm sorry, an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we were made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. And let's look at verse 15. While it is said today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the, in the provocation. The provocation that the writer of Hebrews here is referring to was when the Israelites failed to go and take possession of the promised land the first time they were there. Instead, they they departed from God. They they didn't trust him. They didn't believe his message. They they basically left left God standing there. And uh you know, we got to make sure that we don't do things like that. That's why the writer here starts off verse 12 saying take heed. In other words, that's something me- meaning we need to pay attention to that. We need to take heed to that. We need to we need to understand that this is something important. He says, "Lest take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God." Friends, in our world today, it's easy to get that that heart of unbelief. It's easy for us to fall into that trap. You know, we, we, you look around and there's so many temptations out there. There's so many things clamoring for our attention. And pretty soon before you know it, you're, you're falling into these things and you're, you're neglecting going to church. You're neglecting reading your Bible and you're neglecting to pray. And, and the next thing you know, you've got that, that heart of unbelief and you've departed from God. You've left God behind. And we need to be careful. We need to make sure that we don't do that stuff. How can I make sure we don't do that? How can I make sure we don't fall into into having that heart of unbelief? He writes in verse 13, But exhort or urge one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. But exhort or or urge each other each day to keep walking with God, to keep reading your Bible, to keep going to church, to keep applying God's word to your life, to keep sharing your faith. You know, when we start, when we start neglecting those things little by little, it, you may not think it's a big deal at first, but it adds up, and the next thing you know, you don't care what God thinks anymore. You're not following your faith. I remember years and years ago, right after I gave given my life to Christ, I was a big fan of a group called DC Talk. And one of the members of DC Talk now is, is saying that he's deconstructing his faith because he never had faith to begin with. And what a sad state to travel the country proclaiming Jesus and now say that you you just left it all behind. But it happens so easy. And don't put yourself on that on that pedestal there and say that could never happen to me because we don't know what might happen to you. He says here in verse number 14, I love this verse. He says, for we are made partakers of Christ. And we are made partners with Christ. If 
Here's the thing. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast or firmly to the end. So how are we going to, how are we going to make it? How are we going to get to heaven? How are we going to, how are we going to live? How are we going to keep going? Remember this verse right here, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 14. If we hold the beginning of our confidence, the beginning of our confidence is when we first given our life to Jesus. It's when we first accepted him. You know, we were a brand new Christian. We were going out sharing our faith with, with everybody. And we got to hold that confidence that Jesus indeed paid our sin debt, that the shed blood of Jesus is what we need to pay the penalty for our sin. If we never forget that, if we never neglect that, if we never walk away with that, and we we hold that steadfast or firmly unto the end, then we're made partakers with Christ. Then we're part of the bride of Christ. Then we've earned our spot in heaven, not because of any work we had done, but because of the shed blood of Jesus on the cross. So friends, let me ask you this question. Is there that evil heart of unbelief developing in you? Do you find yourself, maybe you're not reading your Bible as often as you did, or you're not praying as often as you did, Friends, don't give the devil even a crack to get into your life. Because if he gets in there, we're going we're gonna to fall into the deceitfulness of sin. And don't let that happen. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. Then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Double sixes. Can't hit me now. Let's see. Oops, snake eyes. I get to go backwards. Hitting you. Hey, you can't go backwards and backhand. Sure you can. It's in the rules. If a player rolls snake Let eyes. Let me see. You wrote that in there. So it's still in the rule book. Rules. They provide standards for people to live by. Oh, yeah? Well, if I roll a four, I get to knock your pieces on the floor. There are standards God wrote for us in the Bible. Oh, yeah? And if I roll a five, I get to kick you in the foot. Ow! Okay, I get to hit you on the head. Wait! What? You didn't roll the dice yet. Oh, yeah. Nine! Ow! As we walk away from God's standards and create our own rules, we create confusion. Ow! Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Ah. Ow. Seven! Ah. Oh. If things aren't working out for you in your life, Give the Bible a chance. Let's play something less violent. Hockey? My rules. Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio, at lifelinepro.com.